step functions are special special types of functions in which it looks like your graph looks like steps it looks like stairs um, this is generally you will see it called the greatest integer function instead of a step function uh, if you're using a calculator uh, the function is int of x and that's going to show you your greatest integer function um, but let's talk about what this actually is there's two different types of step functions we have a floor function which means that our function rounds down so an example of this if I were to have 3.2 and the notation to show you that it's a step function are these bars right here and we know that this is a floor function because our hooks are on the floor quote unquote so this is going to round down so our if we were to actually evaluate this this would be at three and again that's because we are rounding down okay now when we're looking at the graph of this function the graph of the function is a little bit different uh, let's see here So if I go to Desmos here, and if I do floor of x, it's a little different here for Desmos, but you can see I've got stair steps. The bad thing with Desmos, and they don't show this, is actually with a floor function, you have a closed dot on the left and an open circle on the right. And when we're dealing with inequalities, we know that that point is not included. So this is a graph of our floor function. So if I were to look at, um, if I were to look at my value of one, you know, as I'm getting close to one, it actually goes to two, um, and that's because of my floor function of where I'm at. If I look at the values here at one, it's closed at the two and so that would mean that my value is a two I know that sounds a little goofy but that's just how our floor function looks um, notice you have it's technically a discontinuous function because a continuous function you would be able to draw the function without picking up your pencil and in this you have to quote unquote jump to the next step um, so this is a discontinuous function uh, you will also have times when you have a ceiling function all right so ceiling functions we are rounding up you can guess by the uh, by the notation your brackets are going to be your hooks on your brackets are going to be towards the top towards the ceiling so if I were to have negative 3.2 this is actually going to round up so you got to think okay if I'm rounding up on this negative 3.2 is actually going to round up to negative 3 so it seems kind of goofy when you're dealing with a negative so make sure that you know the difference on your hooks and which way you need to round properly um, with this the ceiling function is going to be um, it's going to look pretty similar to your floor function on Desmos I should erase that um, I'm not exactly sure if Desmos will do a ceiling if I type in so ceiling, I guess it's just seal. Um, notice everything shifted over, and your your graph here just shifts over a little bit. It's not that much different, um, but like I said, this is just your shift. Uh, the other thing, though, with a ceiling function, it is a little bit different um, in that. 
before on a floor function we had a closed dot on the left and an open on the right on a ceiling function it's the other way around so it's a closed dot on the right open on the left and that's because you're just shifting which direction you're rounding okay um, with that being said you'll be looking at not only will you be evaluating like those basic ceiling and floor functions but you'll also be figuring out and writing equations for story problems and how to solve from there.